Leroy's Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver Walkthrough, Part 54. So once you're done with the cycling road, you're going to get through this building right here. And it leads you to Fuchsia City, but you're actually going to be able to fight some trainers down here first. A couple of blonde twins with matching hairdos. Yeah, if there was like one more of these guys, it'd be the blonde Jonas Brothers or something. Um, but yeah, this is Birdkeeper Bob. He's got a knock towel, because obviously they all use flying types. So Rocky should be good here, and let's go ahead and use Rock Blast. Alright, you're going to hit me with an Air Slash, that's fine. Not very effective, and I flinch. That is perfect. Alright, I'll take another Air Slash. I can sit here and take these all day. Oh, another flinch. Alright, that's fine. You just, you, you just go ahead and flinch me like five times in a row. See if I care. See if I care, Birdkeeper Bob. Alright, there we go. And Now that you didn't get lucky, your Noctowl is going to die. Even if it's at level 48, I don't care. Rocky is too powerful for you. Alright, so Hoot Hoot's evolution. Noctowl is going to go down pretty easily. I guess not super easily because it did a lot of damage to me, but only because of those stupid flinches, so whatever. Not too worried about it. We'll just move on here. And let's go ahead and fight this dude. If you're looking for Pokemon, you have to check the tall grass. Oh, really? I would have never guessed it. Thank you for telling me how to catch Pokemon after I've already beaten the Elite Four. That's some useful advice right there. Anyways, this guy has a Doduo on his team. Um, yeah, the bird with more heads than wings. Because apparently you don't need wings to fly. You don't need wings to be a bird in the Pokemon world. You just need to have two heads and that works. <laughs> so yeah, Rock Blast will knock you out. And down goes the Doduo. <laughs> I have to make fun of Doduo every time I see it. There's no way I can't. And he also has a Dodrio. Alright, so some nice variety here. Um, yeah, Dodrio. The thing I love about Dodrio is, like, it's a three-headed bird, but it's funny that each head has, like, its own personality. Like, each one looks a little different, and it's just hilarious. Um, anyways, my Rock Blast missed, so let's go ahead and heal up. Um, yeah, I'll tell you guys what I'm talking about. Like, the middle Dodrio, it's like... You can just tell it's the loud and obnoxious one that just never shuts up, and the other two just hate him so much, but he just keeps on talking and talking. And the one on the right is like that really shy and timid one. He's too he's like too afraid afraid to say anything. He's too afraid to stand up to the middle Dodrio and tell him to shut up. And the guy on the left is just like pissed off 24-7. He just hates being with these other he's like, why can't I just be my by myself? Why do I have to have two Dodrio heads with me all the time? It's like having Siamese twins, but it's three instead. So, like, Siamese triplets. It'd be so annoying. Like, what if one of the Dodrios wants to sleep, and the other one wants to go off flying up in the sky, and the other one just wants to eat or something? How do they settle these disputes? Why am I asking these questions? Who cares? Anyways, here's another Doduo. Um, I just overanalyze everything. I think too much. I should just play the game instead of asking these stupid questions. So, yeah, let's just forget about the cruel lives of Doduos and Dodrios and... Just focus on the battle here. And it looks like I missed, so... Darn, isn't that terrible. Um, anyways, yeah. Uproar's not gonna do anything at all, so... Whatever. Golem's gonna knock it out, and that's gonna be that. So, we're finally done with Route 18, I guess. Um, yeah, nothing too fancy going on here. Only two trainers. And if you're wondering, in this grass area right here, you can find Slugmas. Um, and that's about it. We saw Slugmas earlier, so it's not that exciting. Anyways, east of Fuchsia City, and here we are, Fuchsia City. So, the main attraction in Fuchsia City would have to be um, this right here. This is the Pal Park. Now, this used to be the Safari Zone, however, it has been replaced with the Pal Park. The Pal Park is basically a place where you can transfer your Pokemon from your Game Boy Advance games. So, you can take your Pokemon from, like, Ruby and Sapphire and transfer them over to Heart Gold and Soul Silver. But it's only a one way deal. You can't go back, so. Um, think before you do it. And one last thing, these little fences here used to have Pokemon behind them, but now they have, like, flowers and lakes instead, so... My only explanation is that PETA got involved and, like, tried to sue the city for, you know, caging these Pokemon up, so they just had to let them free and put in plants instead, but yeah. Anyways, right over here is the gym, really the only exciting thing going on in Fuchsia, other than the Pal Park, so... Um, let's switch up our team here. Give Lantern a go at it, and this is really the only thing we need to do in Fuchsia, so let's go inside. Now, you may be wondering who the gym leader is, since Koga has left to the Elite Four. Well, we're going to find out soon, but 
Not that soon, because we have to go through this gym puzzle, which is actually kind of tough. It is filled with invisible walls, as you just saw, and all of the people look the exact same, so we don't actually know who the gym leader is. So yeah, we have to find our way around the invisible maze and try to find the right person. It's just a hassle, but we'll try our best. Yeah, but this gym's kind of funny because they, they pretend to be the gym leader, then they're just like, they make you think you're about to fight the gym leader, then they just like reveal their true identity. So yeah, we got a Nido Queen here. Um, let's give it a surf. Yeah, I actually put the choice specs on Lantern, so I'm hoping I can knock this thing out in one hit. So let's see if we can do it, even though this thing has pretty good special defense. Alright, looks good, looks good, looks good, and we got it! Super effective, and you're still alive! What? No, you're supposed to be dead! You honestly have like one hit point left. Who do you think you are, living with one hit point? And here's a super effective Earth Power, which is probably gonna kill me, because this thing is at level 48. Wow, this sucks. I was seriously so close to knocking you out. Like, one lousy hit point. Like, that is honestly the closest you can possibly get. Alright, so Herbie, you need to get up a level. How about you go in there and knock this thing out? Because I'm not really worried about you getting killed. Earth Power's not gonna do anything, so... Yeah, look at that. That did, like, nothing at all. So yeah, Earthquake will knock you out. And that is just frustrating. I wanted my Aqua Volt to kill it in one hit. Now my entire video is ruined. I guess I'll just have to start it over. No, I'm just kidding. I'll keep going. Herbie needs the experience anyways, so... There you go! Level 40. It's about time Amaganium gets up to level 40. So there we go. We defeated the Picnicker, who was disguised as the Gym Leader, and... Let's fix up my team here. Um, Herbie, you did a pretty good job, so I will reward... Ooh, my phone just rang. Um, let's ignore that. And yeah, Herbie! Let's keep you up front here. Um, you did a pretty good job. And let's actually put the... Uh, Choice Specs on you. That's the item I just had on Aqua Volt. Yeah, Choice Specs is an awesome item. Raises your special attack by 50%. I mean, could you ask for a better item than the Choice Specs? Seriously, go get the Choice Specs. If you don't have it right now, turn off this video and go get the Choice Specs at the Lake of Rage. Best item ever. Um, anyways, yeah, this you can, you can always go on the outside. That's the trick here. You can't tell where the walls are, but you can always go on the very outside to kind of navigate your way around. Alright, so here's Camper Barry. I guess they're campers, not picnickers, so I must have screwed up the last one, but whatever, who cares. Um, let's hit this thing with a pedal dance. And, oh crap, you have Poison Jab! I did not think about that at all. Alright, so that might kill me. That's gonna come close to kill- Oh, I got Poison! Come on, that's- That is just cheap. That is just cheap. I guess it's not cheap, but that is just stupid. That's what we'll call it, stupid. Um, anyways, my dog just came in my room, hopefully it doesn't start barking, and that's gonna kill me. Alright, you died, whatever. At least we got a decent amount of hit points on you. Alright, so far this video is just not going as planned at all. I was hoping Lantern could kill both these things, instead everything just, you know, got all screwed up because of that stupid Nido Queen living with one hit point, but whatever. Um, alright, we'll finish you off there. And... Wait, 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 did you live? Did... Oh my, are you serious? What is with this? Why do you keep... Ugh. Both the Nido Queen and the Nido King just have to live with one hit point. Like, what is the deal? Seriously, that's annoying. And it... Nah, people are making noise in the background. Hopefully it's not too distracting. I always hate that. I'm trying to record a video, and then my dog barks or something, or someone in my family starts talking really loud. No respect for me making my video whatsoever. Um, anyway, I don't think they really care. Like, I can get the whole house to just shut up for, like, 20 minutes anyways. That's, like, impossible. Anyone with a family of, like, six or more knows what I'm talking about. So, yeah, here we go. Here's another trainer. Last Linda and her Bulbasaur. And I guess Batman's up front after Megadium died, so this actually works out because I can kill you with a fly. So, here we go. Um, yeah, I think this per person has a Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, and Venusaur. So, the whole family of grass-type starters, I guess. At least from the first generation. Um, yeah, so Fly's gonna knock him out. Actually, um, interesting thing about this gym. In the original games, despite the fact that it was a poison-type gym, all of the trainers had psychic-type Pokemon. Which is kind of weird, but I guess in, um, Heart Gold and Soul Silver, they wanted to go back to the classic poison-type in a poison-type gym, which actually makes sense, but... I don't know why, in Red and Blue, you just find a bunch of Hypnos and stuff in here. It just didn't make sense at all. They were trying to trick you or something. Anyways, down goes Ivysaur, and last up is Venusaur. And we'll stay in with Batman, he's doing a pretty good job here. 
and hopefully I can knock you out in one hit. And if you also live with one hit point, just like those last two, I'm going to be furious. Alright, let's see what we can do. I know Venusaur has pretty good defenses. Yeah, Venusaur is an awesome Pokemon. It's a dinosaur with a tree growing out of its back. Can it get more awesome than that? And luckily we knocked it out in one hit, so there we go. No more complaining from me. Um, 2005 experience points gets me up a level, and that's that! Alright, so, I get like 720 bucks, how cheap. Um, yeah, your disguise was pretty good, you look just like the gym leader. And by the way, this person right up here is the actual gym leader, so we will skip you for now and go fight you instead. Um, yeah, and I love how they spin around and all of a sudden they have a change in clothes. It's like, have you guys ever seen the act quick change? It's like these two couples that they go dancing around and they change clothes in like half a second. It's crazy. Like they'll have some like blue dress on and all of a sudden they have like a red dress on and it happens like in less than a second. Crazy stuff. I don't know. Search it on YouTube. It's pretty cool. Um, anyways, yeah, this gloom's going to go down with a fly here. So Batman's just rolling through this gym. And I forget what other Pokemon she has on her team, so I guess it'll be a surprise for all of us. Anyways, Batman gets a bunch of experience points, and Vileplume, alright, so we'll stick around here. Anyways, um, since I have the chance, I will explain why I haven't made a video in about, like, uh, five years, that's what it seems like. Um, my camera actually completely broke, it wouldn't let me import any videos to my computer. And I was actually supposed to upload this exact video, like, three weeks ago, but my computer just... I mean, sorry, my video camera just completely died out on me. It came to the end of its life, so I had to go on a hunt for a new one, and I finally got this webcam here. Um, so it works pretty well. It gets pretty good um, graphics, pretty good picture. So hopefully you guys like it. If you really dislike this webcam, let me know. Um, but I think it's okay. It's The reason I picked it is because it's a lot easier to use than an actual camcorder. Um, camcorders can be kind of tricky if you don't have the right setup. Um... But anyways, we got an Arbok to finish things off here, so... Wait, why did I use Rock Blast? That was an accident. I was supposed to use Earthquake, so... Whatever. More things going wrong. I guess I'm kind of rusty since I haven't played in forever. Clicking the wrong moves and whatnot, but whatever. This Arbok's gonna go down. And, um, I guess I should mention Arbok backwards is Cobra, because, you know, I'm pretty sure, like, 90% of the people know that, but every time I fight one, I gotta say it, so the people that don't know can figure it out and go brag to their friends about how smart they are. I know all these fun facts about Pokemon. And here we go, we're learning Double Edge at level 44, so... Double Edge is normally a very good move on Golem, because the Rockhead ability prevents it from doing any recoil damage. But I was dumb enough to not get the Rockhead ability, so it's not going to be as great for me, but it's still a powerful move and I'd recommend it. Just kind of frustrating that I screwed it up, but whatever, that's life. Not everything always goes right. So, last up is the Gym Leader, and we're actually probably going to have to save her for next time. So guys, in the next Heart Gold and Soul Silver video, we will be taking on the Gym Leader, J9, or Janin, or however you pronounce her name. I'm not really sure, but I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.